Hey again. The game now look very very nice. So if two person want to play the game on same device, it's really nice. So two people and he will find who is the winner. But this is not the end of the story. You will not play the game with the uh, device. You, with with two player they play on same device. It's just like a little bit hard. Now what we want to do in this video, we want to make you play with the device so now the the game when you add anything the device add another thing so now what you want from the device you want from the device to find the empty location and he could add that and sad location so now what you want to do you want to identify a, a new method which is auto play so i would say void auto play this auto play will be between you and the device so how the device could do auto play first of all the device need to find the empty uh, empty cells that's mean empty places so how you find empty cells you have to do for loop between i equal one i less than 10 then i plus plus he want to find the empty cells so now he would do this way he would check he would say hey if the player one dots contains the i or player two play up 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 it's capital should be player two if anyone dot contain the value that does mean the cell is folded so i will not use that cell the cell that that be used like if, if i check for one and one is used by player one he will find it here if, to, if i if to use it by player two he will find it here so in this case i don't take it ever so i make sure i say hey if it's not in this case so that's mean if the item is not ever if the cell is not used by player one or player two i would take it so now i want to add it in the a new array list so i need to define a new array list did you see the way that you define this one so i would define here same thing i would say hey first of all uh, i would say array list of integer okay will be empty cells i just find the empty cells equal same thing a new instance from this array list so a new instance from array list so this will hold all unselected cells this one will select all unselected cells so he will find any cell that is not selected yet so i would say hey if this cell is not selected please add it to the list so really easy i say doing for loop from one to less than i it's better if you don't like this word you say cell id i would i would i would like use it this way so to be more coding convention like if cell id is not available in the first one and it is not available in the second one that's mean added so by the end of this loop i will have all unselected cell here now i want to the second player will select random location between these so now i need to get random so i will say rand index first i need to get the random element from this array list from this MPLT maybe there is four location you have to select randomly just randomly so in Java to work with random really easy just first of all you have to say random for example R or call a new random from a class random this class will enable us to select random value so I need to get random index I say hey R dot next integer next in it and next in it you give it some input so you say what the max value what the minus min value then you say plus the min value so what the max value that you don't want to include it i don't want to include the count for this one so dot count hopefully dot length right size yes to size so I don't want to include size. What's the first element expected? I would select it zero. What the minimum zero? So I would suppose I'm selecting index between zero and the size of the element. So if this one have, if suppose I have three element here, if, I, if size equal three, so here I suppose, suppose I he will select either zero or one or two. 
so he will select one of these so now I have the index now I just a really easy process just take that index and pass it to the array so through that I, I need to get cell ID so integer cell ID or call from this array list which is empty cell I'll just say dot get he will bring the empty item okay so now this one will be able to bring me the cell ID randomly between any empty cells so now I have empty cells but I don't want to define only the empty cells I need to define also the button that used by that empty cells if you remember when here we have uh, events he will define for us which button like what is the button what the button ID so he will be able to find it for us so he need, we need to do same process in this part because this play game expect two parameter expect from us to send him the cell ID which what we have but he also expect us to send him the button so now I need to find the button from the ID again same way that we did there to remember the select cell to us between 1 to 9 I would use same way so I would do I will do it in this way it is better for me to do it in this way I will show you how then add that before I send it here I need to define the button selected so button selected here it's just button it doesn't initialize it yet who will be responsible for initialize it the select cell so if he selects cell here I'm just checking on select cell if he selects cell number one I would expect him to find element ID one so I would expect button select which is BU select would be the button one so it would be uh, button initialize it to button find the view by ID in this way find the view by ID for the button one so if you select one I expect him to return this one if you select two I expect him he will return two if you select a three I would expect him to return a three hopefully everything is correct if he select four I expect him to return a four same thing if he, if he select five I expect him to return five if he divides by randomly select six I expect the initialize will be for button six see how I just try to follow same pattern which is good if it's seven so I would say suppose I'm initialize the button to seven if you select eight so now we just did the, the reverse process because we don't have any information about the button so how I would get the button from this one it will be really hard for me to find the button but with this way no I would be able to find the button so nine so now the button select should be able to identify to be identified by this one so I have the button here uh, and he selects by default so he, he here just give you error because he say made be initial and initialize it but I'm sure to be initialize it you could do default value just to avoid this one so by default he will initialize it to number zero it will not happen in this case ever number one but it's just to avoid that error but you have to make sure this is just just to pass this error but this case never happened because you have none element and he will cast them so now yes I have the autoplay I just need to call it when I want to call this method I need to call it after player one play the game so if I if you see here the play game here the player one play the game so now I would call it here so when I call it here he will go to autoplay autoplay will be here which is this is my method for autoplay he will do what he will do find the empty cell get index select element he play the game then the player two will start and that is that's it I think everything is cool now let me suppose to, let me see run and see could we play the game with a device or not I think it's be a little bit complex for you using some random variable but yes see when I select this one he select that one I select this one he select that one select he just select randomly see Yes, that's great if you see but the problem you see it now 
the both player won first I won it then he won now you just want to add some condition in the code when the player one win or player two win he will not continue and this is your homework thank you for watching and see you next